to the junior NBA finals. How did it? How did this feel being a founding father? No, it's great. I think you know for my program. So now we have it's been four years with the basketball program, and we have over a thousand kids. Uh, we have about forty kids that went to the U.S. Um, we have about fifteen kids on scholarship. So, you know, for me, the main goal is. The, com the competition is going to be there. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Uh, but the really, we're using basketball as a tool to get these kids in a better place and give them an opportunity. If they make it professionally as basketball players, that's great. But the fact that you get a free education and you get a chance to, you know, become something special, that's really our main goal. So I'm really excited and happy about it. You conduct uh, clinics back in, in South Sudan. How is this working out for you? Which one? I'm sorry. Uh, you conduct uh, various basketball clinics yeah, back yeah, at home. Clinics, yeah, How is it working out for you? No, it's going well. It's going well. I think the more we do that, you know, I think uh, to me, I'm, I'm a really, I want to encourage people not just to put put facilities or put a uh, basketball court. Like what's happening here is great because you have a program, you know, there's a weight room, there's coaches, there's trainers. You're not just, it's not just a facility and you're telling an athlete go and, you know, go and just run. Um, the fact that there is a program is the main thing. You can do a lot of clinics, but creating a program and actually putting in time to make the athletes better uh, is the most important thing. Do you think you're going to extend a hand into Kenya now? Are you going to hold some of your clinics right here in the country? I would love to. I would love to be in all Africa, to be honest. Uh, I've been, when I started, uh, you know, doing my camps, I was going all over, uh, all over the place. I went probably so many countries, and I was just going in for a week. I was doing basketball clinics. We were getting about 40 to 50 kids through the Federation, and we were coaching, and we, uh, we've been here, we've been to... Uh, Uganda, South Sudan, obviously. I went all the way to Ivory Coast, uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, so it's just, it, it really doesn't matter. For me, it's whatever I can go and help and make it a better place, that's what I got to do. Recently, we had the Raptors president, Masai Ujiri, in the country, and he talked about uh, developing sports, using sports as a tool for growth. What, do you, what are your thoughts on this? No, I agree. I definitely agree. I think we have an opportunity that... Uh, people got to understand improving our facilities and putting more resources into sports. It's not necessarily that we want every kid, you know, to be a professional athlete. It's the fact that we're very good at it and you can get a lot of scholarships or free education and become whatever you could become. You know, it's an advantage for us as an African. Uh, we're athletic, you know, we excel in athletes. So let's use it as a tool to get kids to a better place. Not, a, you know, 1% of... Um, uh, college athletes become uh, pro, you know, maybe even less. So we got to understand that uh, colleges don't just have sports thinking all the athletes are going to be professional. You know, they do it to, to, to improve their lives and a lot of them become something else beside athletes. I can assume it has not all been smooth sailing. What are some of the major challenges maybe you face in the course of trying to grow the sport, uh, breaking it out of just the African boundary, uh, getting it out there into the limelight? I think the biggest challenge is uh, not not doing it, you know, doing it by, on your, by yourself. You know, like coming to a place like this, Kenya has a lot of resources. You know, so it's important for a lot of people to, to believe in it and to understand when we reach out, you know, it's not necessarily that we want to gain anything. It's to improve. For, for these kids and these athletes. So the biggest challenge is really coming in any country and trying to do it by yourself, like putting down a basketball court and working by yourself. If there's no help from other people, it's going to be very difficult. And that's where the resources come in. And I may, we, we're focusing on a lot of other things, but this can be something that even the kids that, you know, day to day don't have a lot to do, you know, these facilities could be something that they spend their time in. We've talked a lot about the sport. Uh, you've come here, you've seen all this. Maybe just uh, to someone back at home who uh, doesn't know you, what what can you say is the most interesting thing about you? I say, uh, go Google me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I think uh, I, I played basketball for a long time. Uh, I always, uh, I appreciate my, you know, my career and how it went. Uh, but I think for me, it's just the fact that I do come back. You know, that's the biggest thing. I think... Uh, you know, when I'm over there, when I'm playing, everyone knows I'm African, you know. So for me to come back and let people know that I do come back home and I do spend time at home is important.
Thank you so much, Deng, and we wish you all the best yeah, moving thank forward. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Robinson, you've had it all uh, from the man himself. He has uh, seen it all rising through the ranks, and now he is a known figure out there globally, internationally, if you can uh, name it all. And he has come back here. He's been home. He's trying to improve the state of the sport in his home country, and not only in his home country, but also uh, trying to uh, improve the sport in all other countries now uh right now we are seeing an, a number of athletes uh behind us and all of them are all trying to put an effort into making sure that they grow themselves not only sports wise but also education wise and we wish them the best uh, moving forward back to the studio rotuno before before i let you go uh, i would like to know the reaction uh, from uh, the people that are there uh, on uh, the visit by Luol Deng, you know, how do they feel? Okay. Uh being an athlete, we have Deng here. He's taken his time and he's come to visit all of you here, trying to boost your morale, trying to show you that, yes, you can do it. What, what can you say about his visit to the country? I can say he's a hero and uh, he's really inspired by what he does. And we are great to have him at this place today. And we have to assure him that everything that we do will never give up because we are determined in what we are doing. Yeah, thank you. You are, you are in a journey right now to develop yourself, to further your future career, for example. And seeing such a star in the country, do you think how hard is it going to be over task for you moving forward? It, like what it does. Of course, there are a lot of challenges. But what you have to do is to never give up. There are a lot of challenges. You have to keep on and reach your goal. Never let your dreams die. Thank you so much and all the best. Uh, Robinson, let me just uh, direct you right here to Eunice. Eunice, you man this place. Today is a big day for those who reside here. What, what can you say about Deng's visit to be specific? Yeah, as you clearly said, uh, today is a big day for all of us, for our athletes, because for them, seeing someone who has gone through the same experience as them and being able to achieve at international platform, for them it's such a big honor for, for them to be here today. And it kind of motivates each one of them to work harder because right now the team is preparing for international platform events like um, the, the upcoming Doha Games at the same time. We're really looking forward for Tokyo. So for them being here today is like a big, it's a very big motivation for the team. I'm sure every one of them right now is, um, um, is going to work hard and compete better to be able to, 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 to reach their goals. This camp has been in, in existence uh, for some time now and you've seen uh, a number of athletes uh, go through it. Right now we have different athletes from different uh, nationalities. What, what can you say about their, how they are faring on in the camp? It's exciting. It's a, it's a journey, as uh, one of us has just said. It has its own challenges because uh, being able to integrate, everyone is coming from different backgrounds. They have different experiences. The athletes, the, our athletes have gone through a lot of difficulties, but we also have programs that enables them to interact better and teaching them on how to live better with others. And then also togetherness. We, te we teach a lot of friendship and then also being able to provide them with opportunities to interact, like uh, in their daily programs, they train also with the Kenyan team. We also train uh, with the uh, Kenyan team um, here, and also as a result of that, um, it, it's really uh, teaching them on how to, to, to interact. Other than just sports we have, you expose them to education. I mean, what from what levels are they? Different levels. We have those in primary school, we have those in secondary school, we have those in colleges and at the university level. In fact, at the moment, one of our athletes has uh, got an opportunity for a scholarship at a school in USA. So it's really a huge opportunity for us. As they do education on a day-to-day -day, uh, sports, on a day-to-day -day base, they also do education. and looking forward to getting different sponsorships and scholarships. We have uh, major tournaments coming up and you, your end game is a Tokyo. 2020 Olympics and how are the preparations coming on for this specific event? Um, all, all is good. 
uh, we continue to prepare our team to qualify for these games. They continue taking part in different uh, activities locally. We have uh, we mentioned that we also have taekwondo. We are looking at for the first time taking somebody for um, taekwondo competition. So we have uh, in uh, in camp uh, coaches that provide a daily schedules. We also work with other international coaches who come at a different uh, at intervals to provide them all the support they need. We are working with different partners to also to look at the issues of that, which is also key for their performance. Thank you so much and all the best to the team. Thank you. Robinson, you've had it. Uh, that the training camp is not all about uh, sports, rather beyond. It goes beyond the sport. Uh, it goes all through to education. And it, the athletes here are not only entitled to track events, but we also have other sports uh, in the picture. And as you've had her mention, we have uh, an athlete who's being prepared for a taekwondo and uh, they're, the athletes uh, keep on uh, going with their daily preparations, uh, being here for some time, and uh, we can just uh, wish them the best as they move forward, and hopefully they'll uh, come out to be big stars in the near future. Back to you. Oh, thanks a lot, uh, Rotini Kwenike, who's at Ngonga, where Luol Deng has paid a visit uh, to some of the refugees in camp over there. Thank